Hello, welcome to MTG Pro Tutor. I'm Sean Penrod, your host, and today we're opening this Cons of Tire Care Booster Pack and evaluating the cards inside. Let's dive right in and see what we get. All right. Hey, we have the Soren emblem. That's pretty pretty cool for our uh, token today. Our land is a forest, and our rare is maybe it's Soren. <gasps> All right, flying crane technique. Um, I'm just gonna say right off the bat, I'm not gonna first pick this card. It's very hard to cast. Uh, this is gonna lock me into three colors right at the beginning. While it does have a pretty strong effect, it's easily telegraphed. I mean, having six mana open in the right colors, your opponent's going to be like, what's he up to? You know, if you, if you are all tapped out, you tap all your creatures, you have six mana up, and then you say go, they're going to they're, they're gonna know something's up, you know? So, it's a very strong ability. Untap all your creatures. They gain flying and double strike until end of turn. If you're playing um, a Just Sky deck, hopefully they have prowess, in which case they're all going to get pumped up a little bit, right? So, uh, I mean, this would be kind of cool. <laughs> Yesterday, we had Just Sky Ascendancy, so, you know, that would be a neat first pick, and then this would be a neat second pick. You would definitely be forced in Jeskai at that point. Um, but that's just, that just might not be the case in, uh, in Limited. You, you could easily get pushed out of one, of one of those colors. So let's see what else the pack has to offer. Trumpet, pla Trumpet Blast, a uh, give attacking creatures plus two plus zero until end of turn. Salt Road Patrol, a 2-5 without last, so that's nice. Disdainful Stroke, counter target spell with converted mana cost 4 or greater for 2 mana. Canyon Lurker is interesting. Uh, they flip for 4 because they will trade with um, another morph, which is kind of awkward. Ooh, Savage Punch. A lot of talk about how amazing Savage Punch is. And it can just clear the path um, for so many, uh, you know, in so many scenarios. So, so far this is my, uh, my first pick. So DC's pet, not a fan. A 1-4 with lifelink. Um, it does have morph, but I mean, surprise, I have a 1-4. It's not that impressive. Mardu Banner, I have yet to draft or cast Banner because I would much rather have a uh, morph card instead of a Banner. Shambling Attendant is very powerful. A 3-5 with death touch. Uh, it does lock down the, the, the ground very, very well. Um, so hard to interact with, and especially if you have any tricks to back it up. And then um, it can it can cost pretty cheap if you have enough creature um, cards in your graveyard. Swiftwater Cliffs, the red white, sorry, the red blue um, refuge. Colossal Tusk Colossodon, a six five for six mana. Timely Horde Mate is a three two for four mana with raid. If you attack with a creature this turn, return target creature card with converted mana cost 2 or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. So this is going to bring in a nice cheap creature for you. It is a warrior, so keep that in mind. It's going to play into your warrior theme. Um, if you are able to build a warrior deck, then this will be great to have because a lot of the warriors are cheap, such as Chief of the Scale, Chief of the Edge. Those are both cost 2, and so this can bring them back. Ooh, Hobbs on Charm. This is the best charm. Hands down. Exile, target, creature with power 3 or greater. You draw 2 cards and you lose 2 life. Or you, you distribute 2 plus 1 plus 1 counters among 1 or 2 creatures you control. Or no, sorry, 1 or 2 creatures. So this is great for distributing those plus 1 plus 1 counters on creatures that don't have outlast. It is an instant, so you can do it um, on your opponent's turn and surprise them with some pretty mean blocks. So I, I, I mean, I love Obsidian Charm. And then Secret Plans, uh, a build around me card for a completely different type of deck, one that requires a ton of morphs. Uh, this is this is great in a well-executed five-color deck because five-color decks will play a lot of morphs. Um, the goal for five-color decks is to draft a lot of different land types so you can get your mana base covered, and you're just going to play you know morph, 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 morph until you have the mana base able to start flipping up your morphs. So what better card to have in this uh, in that deck than Secret Plans because you're going to have a lot of morph cards and being able to get some extra value out of them while they're face down and while they're face up is really what's going to help um, you know basically fuel uh, that five color deck forward. So if you don't have a five color deck 
um, that's okay. You still you still could use secret plans in just a two or three color deck. That's fine. Um, you, you just know that you want a lot of morphs because the benefit is you get to draw a card when you flip one face up. So that that's a big deal. So um, not bad, but uh, compared to what else is in this pack, I don't want to first pick it. I'm gonna I like Obzon Charm and uh, Savage Punch for sure. Those are those are the best ones here. Um, between the two, I'm going to take Obzon Charm. It's just too good to pass up, in my opinion. Uh, Obzon is such a powerful clan that uh, you know passing up one of its most powerful tricks doesn't seem right, especially on the first pick. So, yeah, you could get pushed out of one of these colors. Taking a clan card right off the bat is, isn't the best, but there's so much mana fixing that it's not necessarily going to be a problem. So, thanks so much for watching. You're awesome for taking the time to do so. Uh, please leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. I'm Sean Penrod, and we'll see you in the next pack.